Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about importing files and some of the issues that you may face uh, while importing. One of the file types that you might want to import is an STL file. An STL file is used uh, for maybe 3D printing or for uh, exporting an object into a game engine. So for example if you find an STL file on the internet that you want to print and you want to look at it before you print in Blender you might download the file go to import and then click on the STL file and then there's a file here that I have I imported it uh, but it is nowhere to be found so I deleted the cube and I thought it might be hidden in the cube but it's still not there and then if I zoom out it's still not there so but if you look on the right side here you can see that there is an object and I can move it but I just don't see where the object is so what you can do in such a case is if you go to view maybe the object is too big so if you change the clipping plane to 2 and look around okay so I will bring it back to 1 okay and then if you look around your scene there's nothing okay but if you make it 2 now all of a sudden an object appears okay and then you can see that if I zoom in further it disappears so if I make it 3000 then again it starts appearing and so I'll just type a big number say 9000 and then you have a bigger space that is available to you okay so now if you look at this P so one thing is that the object and the other thing is that its origin all right so if you go here you can change the origin to 3d cursor and then it comes here but you can see that the orange dot of origin is still far away uh, if you go to the modeling space again you will have to change the viewing plane from 1000 to 9000 because each uh, option has a different view commands okay so you can see that the origin is still here so what you can do is select the entire object in edit mode and then move and then I selected this option because if you don't click the wireframe and select only the vertices on top will be selected the bottoms will not be selected so I'll click on this button here to select the wireframe mode select everything and then I'll move it near the origin and maybe make the origin in the center here okay and then the cursor can go back to the bounding box okay uh, so what I'll do is I'll keep this P on the side I'll go to add mesh cube and you can see how small the default cube is and how big this P is so if you select the P and scale it down then you can get back to the actual scale of blender okay so that was a quick small tutorial on how to import a STL file and then how to find it in your viewport and how the clipping planes work okay so you can see that the clipping plane will go through so there's a near clipping plane and a far clipping plane that's about it. Thanks.